Hey everybody, EMP5 Reviews here. Today I've got episode 5 of my Medal of Honor story series. This is about Staff Sergeant Lucian Adams, who received the Medal of Honor for his actions in World War II. A little bit of his biography. Staff Sergeant Adams was born on October 26th, 1922 in Port Arthur, Texas. He was one of 12 children in a very large Mexican-American family. He attended Port Arthur High School and enlisted in the United States Army in February of 1943. He spent the previous two years in a wartime plant making landing craft. Staff Sergeant Adams eventually became a member of I Company, 3rd Battalion, 30th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division. In the summer of 1944, the 3rd Infantry Division landed near St. Tropez in the south of France and began advancing into central France. By late October, Adams Company was near the town of St. Dean, or St. Dai, in the Mortagny Forest, moving down a country road to open a supply line to two assault companies of his battalion that were cut off by the Germans. When stopped by heavy enemy fire, Adams was sent forward to scout the German position and reported three enemy machine gun nests to his company commander. He was then told, you go on out there and make a breakthrough to get to those GIs. Carrying a borrowed Browning automatic rifle, Adams began walking with his men down the road, which was heavily wooded on both sides, they had advanced just 10 yards before the German machine guns opened fire, killing three men immediately and wounding six others. The rest of the men, except Adams, took cover. Adams pressed forward, moving from tree to tree, straight through enemy fire to kill the first gunner with a grenade. When another German popped up from a foxhole a few yards away, Adams killed him with fire from the BAR. Charging into the fire of the second machine gun, he killed its gunner with another grenade and forced its two supporting infantrymen to surrender. He then ran deeper into the woods, killing five more Germans. He then began taking fire from the third machine gunner who missed his mark. Adams didn't. He killed this gunner. When Adams finished his one-man rampage, he had cleared the woods of enemy soldiers. Adams' men began calling him the Tornado from Texas. After the action, Adams was told by Messenger that he had been recommended for the Medal of Honor. He had already heard this same thing at Anzio, Italy, when he'd single-handedly destroyed a German machine gun position, so he did not pay too much attention and continued with his unit fighting their way into Germany. In the spring of 1945, Adams received orders to go home and be awarded the Medal of Honor by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Before he left, however, President Roosevelt died. Adams instead received the medal from Lieutenant General Alexander Patch on April 23, 1945, in Nuremberg Zeppelin Stadium. Adams is in the photo to the right, second from the right, marked by the Blue Star. His Medal of Honor citation reads, the President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Lucian Adams, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty on 28 October 1944, while serving with Company I, 3rd Battalion, 30th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division, near St. D, France. When his company was stopped in its effort to drive through the Mortagny Forest to reopen the supply line to the isolated 3rd Battalion, Staff Sergeant Adams braved the concentrated fire of machine guns in a lone assault on a force of German troops. Although his company had progressed less than 10 yards and had lost three killed and six wounded, Staff Sergeant Adams charged forward, dodging from tree to tree, firing a borrowed BAR from the hip. Despite intense machine gun fire, which the enemy directed to him in the rifle grenades, which struck the trees over his head, showering him with broken twigs and branches, Staff Sergeant Adams made his way to within 10 yards of the closest machine gun and killed the gunner with a hand grenade. An enemy soldier threw hand grenades at him from a position only 10 yards distant. However, Staff Sergeant Adams dispatched him with a single burst of BAR fire. Charging into the vortex of the enemy fire, he killed another machine gunner at 15 yards range with a hand grenade and forced the surrender of two supporting infantrymen. Although the remainder of the German group concentrated the full force of its automatic weapons fire in a desperate effort to knock him out, he proceeded through the woods to find and exterminate five more of the enemy. Finally, when the third German machine gun opened up on him at a range of 20 yards, Staff Sergeant Adams killed the gunner with BAR fire. In the course of the action, he personally killed nine Germans, eliminated three enemy machine guns, vanquished a specialized force which was armed with automatic weapons and grenade launchers, cleared the woods of hostile elements, and reopened the severed supply lines to the assault companies of his battalion. After the war, Adams returned to Texas where he worked for the Veterans Administration for over 40 years before retiring in 1986. Adams died in March 31st, 2003 in San Antonio, Texas at the age of 80. Staff Sergeant Adams is buried in the Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. The Staff Sergeant Lucian Adams Elementary School in Port Arthur is named after Adams. Staff Sergeant Adams military awards include the following the Combat Infantryman Badge, the Medal of Honor, the Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, 
the Army Good Conduct Medal, the American Campaign Medal, the European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal. Staff Sergeant Adams also received two overseas service bars and one service stripe. If you like this video, please give it a like and a share. If you are also so inclined, please also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.